right, not out of the woods. Swing and a miss, and Soto strikes out. And Bell strikes out. That's the ball game. Padres are shut out tonight. The Giants take game one of the series, the final one to nothing. How can we not start there from last night the Padres fall they've dropped five in a row they're averaging less than one and a half per game during that time period. So two things and you watch every Padres game front to back. So first off tell me about the feelings when finally they scratch a run across and then it gets wiped away by replay and quick shout out also I don't like the fans and it's only a few that ruin it for everyone throwing anything on the field that stinks never do that or you're going to fight us. But anyway uh, what did you think about that first of all. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was, it was a really professional play. It was a big league play. I mean, everything went well for the Giants. It, it was a perfect strike by Crawford, and, and it is what it is. The call is what the call is, and, and that's what it is. I think for the fans and just for the team in itself, they're a little bit more stressed or, 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 hey, what's going on? We got all these guys that we just traded for, and all of a sudden the offense has gone completely south. But – Listen, relax. Uh, I think for the fans and for, for the people out there, it takes a little bit of time for the for the roster to kind of sink in, for everybody to kind of get together. And, you know, who's hitting in front of me? Who hits behind me? Well, you know, what type of, of rhythm do we get? Look no further. Fernando Tatis is going to come back soon. That's going to be a huge weapon for the Padres. But when you look at this roster, when you look at this lineup, hey, you know, it, it's Manny. Can, I guess, can we say freaking Machado? And, and we got <laughs> Soto doing his thing. And Mazzara has been a huge addition for them. They're going to be fine. They have the depth. They're going to hit. No, no need to panic right now. So your concern level, because I asked it right before, 1 to 10 for the Padres offense. My, I'm at like a... Two or three, it's it's quite low, yeah, especially like a, about the Padres offense, hard, you know? Hard three or four. Okay, what about the Padres in general? Here's my follow-up. So, Atlanta, Philly, San Diego, Milwaukee. One of those teams is not getting into the postseason. Which one is it? For me, I'll, I'll say I, Philly. I think it's the... For, I, I, I'll say the Philly as Philly? well. Okay. I think when you look at San Diego and when you look at Milwaukee, the one thing that stands out is the starting pitching. You know, when you look at those horses that Milwaukee has and the horses that the Padres have, it's really hard for me to compare that with the Phillies. And, you know, you look at the additions that they've made as well as, you know, the additions San Diego make with Hayter at the back end. That, that's a huge addition when it comes to getting possibly six outs. I like what they're doing. And, and I know we all know they're going to hit. Yeah, I think they're going to be fine. Um, my order of those four who I like, I like Atlanta, then San Diego, then Milwaukee, then Philly. I wouldn't be shocked if Milwaukee gets in some trouble down the stretch, too, just because they didn't do much yeah. of the deadline. I, I never liked the, you know, the clubhouse vibes after you trade away your closer. You didn't do much on the offensive side uh. of things. But anyway, point being, Padres are going to be fine. They also ran into a freight train in the Dodgers right there. 